We're here outside the office of the Crown Prosecution Service today where Alison Saunders, one of the most vile, toxic, fe radical feminists of a generation, is the head of the Crown Prosecution Service. Um, she, she, fr fr from the moment she was appointed, in, or appointed to the job in 2013, she has demonstrated on many occasions her complete lack of interest in the suffering of men and boys. Um, if we just, um, you know, if we talk about um, male circumcision, it's unquestionably illegal, and we've had an exchange of uh, letters with the Crown Prosecution Service. They, they they don't deny it's illegal, but they but they refuse to bring prosecution services along with the police. In the area of domestic violence, um, one week after coming in, into her post, um, she 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 wrote to three radical feminist campaigning organisations who work on behalf of. Uh, of female victims of domestic violence and we're not, we're not aware that she's ever tried to engage with any male victims with organizations representing male victims of domestic violence but we've put in another freedom of information request to to determine that she's, she's also the head of the service that is bringing um, an ever-increasing number of show trials of men on suspected sexual offense uh, on suspected uh, sexual offenses and we have at the um, conference in two weeks time in London um, a man called Mark, uh, Mark Pearson, 
who, um, who famously passed a 60-something actress walking in the other direction in Waterloo Station and was subsequently um, arrested and charged with, um, with sexual assault and absolutely outrageous. Um, it, it, it just shows how how radical feminism is important in the in the criminal justice system that such an absurd case could could, could be brought. So we're we're campaigning today for Alison Saunders to be fired. She, she, she she's she's a vile anti-male civil servant, and there should be no place for 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 women or men like her in the civil service. Thank you. Hello, yeah, today we're here at the um, Crown Prosecution Service building and uh, we're protesting against um, male genital mutilation of uh, baby infant boys and um, yeah, so the Crown Prosecution Service, they uh, run the courts here in uh, England, in Britain and um, they've, they've failed to uh, actually, um, you know, take action against uh, many of the people who are performing this act, which is illegal under their own definition, but they're not actually uh, charging anyone with this heinous crime, even though it's going on all across the UK. And we, we think this is a terrible thing. And more generally, uh, Alison Saunders, the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions here in the UK, who works here at the Crown Prosecution Service, she has an awful track record when it comes to all issues to do with uh, men's rights. Um, one of the key examples is um, the fact that she's been, uh, for the last, since she was appointed to the role of Director of Public Prosecutions in 2013, uh, she has perpetuated the radical feminist agenda of rape culture by saying in the document uh, not long afterwards that um, she basically um, wants to increase the number of men who are being uh, convicted for rape. Now, this, this is absurd for a um, uh, director of public prosecutions because you would think that someone who has been in the industry for that long, in the industry of law, would be aware of the concept of innocence until proven guilty. Uh, this uh, concept states that um, you actually need to be proven beyond reasonable doubt to have committed a crime and you can't just be charged of that crime because they need to increase the conviction rate. But that's what she wants to happen. She wants the conviction rates for the crime of rape to go up, irregardless of whether the man or not was guilty. And so you heard Mike talking earlier on about the Mark Pearson debacle, where you know this guy was just walking through um, a London underground station and apparently within about a second he had uh, raped a woman. It's absolutely absurd. And so that's why we're here today. We're campaigning against um, male genital mutilation and of baby infant boys, a, a horrific practice. And we're also more generally campaigning against Alison Saunders because we believe she's a vile, man-hating, feminist and um, her agenda is to increase radical feminism at the expense of men. She's a man-hater. She needs to go. Thank you. Bye. I'm here uh, today uh, as I've uh, done on, um, I've lost count of the number of occasions now I've uh, stood in the street uh, protesting um, about uh, uh, mutilation male genital mutilation, circumcision, call it what you may, it's, uh, it's a human rights abuse. Uh, there's millions of men in this world who've had this uh, imposed upon them and uh, been forced to accept it um, without uh, realising really what, what they've lost. Uh, and, and, as, and that's uh, the situation that I've, um, I find myself in. After 50 years, I never actually um, fully appreciated what was taken from me when I was a baby. Well, here we are outside the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service, this afternoon. The Department of Government, whose job it is to prosecute and bring prosecutions against criminals. But they're not doing that. Specifically, they're not prosecuting the mutilators of small boys, babies and children who are too young to give consent to genital mutilation. They're very happy to do this to girls, or for girls, but they're not doing it for boys. Apparently, mutilating baby boys who are too young to consent does not matter. 
We're here today to see if we can raise public awareness to get this changed. Circumcision is child abuse. Oh, ban it. Circumcision of baby infant boys is forced genital mutilation. Jack the Ripper would approve. Female genital mutilation is illegal. Why isn't male genital mutilation illegal? We need to stop the chop. We need to stop cutting up baby boy infant penises.